Hey, a couple special guests on the post-game wrap-up here on Sports Adrenaline. we got Chris Chapman, Fox Sports Radio, and Jason Pothier, Sinbin.Vegas. I wouldn't know about special, but... Uh, you know, I'm going to call you special because we this is all we really do now is these Facebook Live. Sports Adrenaline is we're still alive, we're still kicking, we're here. Kind of like the Golden Knights, Jason. Let's start with you. So, huge bounce back, 5-1. So close to that shutout uh, for Mark andre Fleury, but what'd you make of this one? Yeah, I, honestly, I think it was uh, a little bit of an inspiring win. Let's say that, okay? You know, the first period was a little back and Zamboni. forth. Zamboni. Zamboni bomb. There he is. There's Chris yep. back there. Yep. Uh, but overall, I think uh, just an entirely good game. Good team effort. First period, like I said, it was a little back and forth. I think Chicago actually played a good first period. Started The wheels started to fall off a little bit, and Vegas took control and took advantage of it. So... Great team win, and uh, again, you know, giving up one goal and allowing Flurry to have that type of performance was yeah. uh, was big tonight. Do you feel like the tide's kind of turning here? I mean, they're they're on a pretty good stretch here, despite that game against the Rangers. Uh, overall, the team playing pretty well as of late. Yeah, I mean, again, it took them over 80 minutes to score their first goal. Uh, they hadn't scored a goal in 80 some odd minutes going back three games ago. So, I, I, you know, I, I'm not ready to say that the tides have completely changed, but it is December. They do have a historically good winning percentage and point percentage in December. So, I'm going to say yes. I do think that they'll turn it around here. Uh, but, you know, that Rangers performance the other night was not a not a great performance. So, we'll have to see if they can stay more consistent like tonight. All right, see, you're off the hook already because right. my arm can't hold this uh, shot this long. This is better. <laughs> Chris right. and I here. So, Chris, you Hi, talked Tiffany, to Tiffany, Patty. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. My family's watching. Yeah. It's great. We're <laughs> great numbers here on Sports Adrenaline. No, thanks. Thanks again for hopping on. So, uh, we were in the scrum with Mark Andre. You got to ask him about his father and clearly the emotions of his night. And the guy, so much class. Mentioned the donuts earlier, but it's in typical Mark Andre fashion. Even as emotional as he's been. He talks about his father, and he still has a smile on his face. Just what what you kind of gather from that convo you had with him? Yeah, it was hard. Uh, you know, I, I lost my father four years ago, so I, I know what the feeling's like. It's it's a very difficult thing, and it took me a long time to get back to functioning as a normal human. And this guy, he's out here almost pitching a shutout, uh, you know, just two weeks later. So, I mean, I could see that there was some emotion. But, yeah, he, he was generally like – it was kind of a weird question, you know, do you feel your father was with you? And he kind of laughed about it, and, and he said something along the lines of, well, I don't really know how, how those things work. And, uh, you know, I, I thought it was a pretty honest answer. And, um, you know, it was hard to ask, but, you know, I feel like I kind of had to do it and, and just see how, how he answered it. And I felt like he he was very honest and open about it. And, and, I mean, you see this guy a lot. Clearly we all see this guy a lot. But what do you think it says about him as a professional? Granted, I, I, he's been in the league forever. Um, he's taken a lot of tough questions, but to deal with this and come out and, and pitch almost a shutout that he had, yeah. I mean, the guy is just, uh, it seems like he's just like legendary all-time, one of the all-time greats, just based on, you know, how he rises up in a moment that somebody could easily fold. Yeah, I mean, he, he truly is an unbelievable guy. I mean, I've gotten to know him a little bit, you know, as we all have in the three years that, that he's been here, and, and, you know, he's just truly an amazing human being and you talk to him and he's always friendly and he's always joking with you and you know I can only imagine how difficult it is because you know you come back and I'm sure the reception from his teammates was was probably pretty pretty awesome I mean and the reaction of the crowd was you know coach Gallant said you know it was one of the loudest that he'd heard in this building and you know it was and it was it was pretty incredible and you know, I think it speaks to the class and how well loved he is by not only the fan base but but the teammates and the media. We really like him as well. So it's it's you know it's good to see that he did get that reception and and it just speaks volume about how great of a guy he is. Yeah, and and we'll wrap it up here. Just a good win. Now I believe eight and nine overall at home. It's like eight seven and three or eight six and three. Um, so it's just good to get a W back here uh, inside T-Mobile Arena. Certainly the crowd enjoyed this one. Uh, my family enjoyed it too. All the Chicagoans, the Castaninos were here. They got to see the Golden Knights win the game. So that's a Golden Knights win, 5-1. Good win for the team. We'll see what kind of comes out of this. But I feel like the team's trending in the right direction. Long season still to go. We'll see. Well, uh, thanks to Chris. Thanks to Jason. They're hitching a ride together, so they're kind of one <laughs> stuck without the other. I don't yeah. know. All right. I'll see you at home, honey. Bye.